What's that monstrosity you ask? Let me tell you. I am building a cow shelter, a mobile cow shelter. Our paddocks here have not got a lot of trees in them, which is a good and a bad thing. It's good because that means we have more grass, more grass means more food, but it's a bad thing when we have a whole ton of rain and we also have really hot days. So we need to do everything we can to make sure that we have our animals in a nice area 365 days of the year. I'm halfway through the build of this, so let's go check this out real quick. This thing is built with 38 by 75 timber. That's in millimeters, I'm not sure what it is in inches. All these pieces of timber are the same timber you'd use for fence railing. So, we and that, we've used that timber the whole way along, apart from this top section, which you can see is part aluminium, part timber. This is from the old caravan that we no longer have, that we have repurposed into one, the mobile cow shelter, and two, the new chicken tractor that we are going to be having our meat chickens in this year. At the moment, we've got this here. See, I've just got a wire rope through both sides of this old pole here, and I can actually I can pull this with with it's not it's not too heavy really. The whole idea of trying to make it as light as possible was so we can tow it with our little mower we've got, a little pole and mower. I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible, but if it's not possible, I know I can pull it by hand. For now, we just need to get this thing built. The cows at the moment are way down the back and they've got trees and all that down down in that area at the moment, but the next area that we move them to will not have trees it's just over here and it's it's like a, a three-day paddock three-day paddock is based off it's based off the amount of grass that that is in that paddock so i'm expecting that they're going to take three days to get through it we're going to have shade cloth going down this side shade cloth going down this side and we're going to have plastic sheeting on the roof i didn't want to use tin because tin's going to be too heavy i want all the weight in the ground so if we do get wind it's not going to blow it over or anything like that all the weight's going to be down low it just makes it for a more stable structure for the skids all i've done is screwed two together and then use these uh, cut these into 45 degree angles and use those as supports for these uprights and then we've got little supports in the in the corners this whole structure is uh, three meters long 2.2 wide because i want it to be able to get through all our farm gates Okay, let's get the roofing on. All right, and that looks all right. What do you reckon? That'll work. So this sheeting here is like a plastic polycarbide uh, sheeting. I can already feel like that's taken the, the bite out of the sun 
me standing underneath it and take into consideration too that this is going to have a shade cloth on both sides it's going to be it's going to be nice in here for the cows i know it already um, one one improvement that i will do though is because in the middle here actually feels like it's quite there's a fair bit of give in that so what i might do is get a piece of alley and shoot straight through the center section there so that way it'll go from here all the way across the center and hold that up and that'll give me something else to screw into as well so this is why we why we trial fit things just to figure that sort of stuff out it's coming together already good stuff piece of alley through the center there it's old and bent but it'll do the job what you get for using scrap I guess look because this is old aluminium off the caravan it had a heap of these holes in it already because this was used as a horizontal beam the other way so right now I've got it sort of turned up on its side it's lost all its structural integrity obviously because of this little nook and this little nook and this little nook and whatever so I was pushing down on here to screw this in and it's just bent and it's actually, I just seen just then, it's actually snapped there as well. So I'm going to have to unscrew it, find another piece and cut it to size to get that one sorted. So I'll go cut that one. Hey. No. Alright, so the battery died halfway through filming and Megan kindly went and got me another one after I realised it was no longer filming. So you may have missed out on some things. The roof is all screwed in. I replaced this centre beam here and then I have the shade cloth on the side. So I've wrapped aluminium up like this. I've wrapped that up in this sheeting and then uh, screwed it straight through it so that sort of that is wrapped up and then sort of wrapped on itself and then screwed in isn't as tight as I'd like it to be like it's a little bit loose down the bottom there and up the top like it could be tighter as a matter of fact if I had another piece of aluminium I could probably even screw it to the top out there but as I said I can improve on that later the real the really the thing all I, all I need to do is get this other side on and then it's ready for the use in the paddock so I'm not even sure if the cows are going to push their way through this or not but there's only one way to find out One last thing, I've rigged it up, this isn't permanent, but I've rigged it up with some straps here because I want to see if my mower over there, hey Megan, my mower over there can hook onto this and tow it through the paddock all the way into the front yard.
got it down here. It toes it. I nearly got caught up here where there's a heap of long grass. It doesn't really look like it's long grass here, but that's a fair bit of grass there. But I did manage to get it down here in one piece without pulling it to pieces. By the time they get closer and closer to the road, I'm hoping that they're getting going to get a little bit more and more used to having cars drive past and not want to race the cars. That pretty much does it. What's going on, Gus Bus? Hey, what's going on, big guy? Hey, Dolly. Oh no, you got teary eye. What have you been? What have you been in? Hey, what have you been into? They've cleaned up this paddock. It's like it's freshly mowed. Now that we know that works, happy days. On to the next project. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Bye.